back to my channel i'm called the mccarol and i film about relationships great lifestyle and if you're a returning subscriber welcome welcome if you keep returning to my videos and you haven't subscribed please please in the name of god please subscribe it means you love my content so why won't you subscribe so please do me well to subscribe so in today's video is a story time yeah guys it's a story time and i'm actually going to share a story here how i almost almost got involved with a married man but you see god being who he is never faithful what did i just say always faithful if you don't know god for yourself brother sister where are you going to be in this life make sure you know god for yourself i mean because he's the only one who can save you he saves me from that scenario so it actually happened in my final year in the university that is how i was browsing gingerly one day old on phone the internet and i just received from a strange number i received a couple of um law books because i studied law in the university i received a couple of law textbooks criminal law civil law jurisprudence a couple of them and i was so surprised like where are these books coming from who sent me law books i mean those who know me know me that i'm not the type who reads book i don't know it's just by the grace of god that I passed so i was like who is doing this who is actually doing this it could not be any of my friends or anybody who knows me too well because the person will know carol will not read it so i, I sent the person a message i'm like thank you for the books who are you who am i talking to and the person sent me a message saying you will know at the right time which one is you will know at the right time i didn't even bother texting again i mean i was like you're not just serious but anyhow you have sent me books it means you're interested in my education you're interested in my progress so anyhow i just stopped texting and that was it one faithful day after that about two weeks after that happened i was moving on the road jejelio in moliko boya <laughs> and i received a strange number a call from a strange number and when i picked the person was like hello carol how are you doing how are things going i'm like i'm fine please who am i talking to it says the person sent you law textbooks blah 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 and i'm like okay but who are you it says a long story um i received your cv on my deck i'm like cv me cv he said yes it was attached with a letter of why you studied law guys this was a ca a ca that um our lecturer gave us agobala gave us that thing as a ca i think that's a second semester course third year he told us to actually write our cv that we'll graduate and we'll start looking for jobs we need to learn how to write a cv he told us to write a cv on one page and on the other page we should talk or we should do a one page um something on why you studied law that should be the title why i studied law and you're supposed to write one page explaining why you studied law <laughs> me and my co-friend shout out to you yellow mina yvette my sister who always say in our group studies that we don't know how fun ourselves doing law i mean we read a4 <laughs> that's an aside so yeah i went gave us assignment i wrote my cv on one page and the other page i wrote why i studied law i said a couple of things that i don't know me myself i've even forgotten what i said there but i said a couple of things i've always wanted to you know that kind of talk all was not actually true but i just had to write i mean for the max so yeah and this man tells me he has my cv on his desk and why i studied law and i'm surprised i'm like how did that get on your desk that was an assignment i did that assignment and passed it to the lecturer i mean he has marked our papers was he has given our list because they actually give a list to the course delegate of the marks you have i mean i'm so I'm like he has marked the papers that means the papers and he's keeping how come you're having my paper and abubala is not the kind of person who would give his papers to uh, master students to mark so i'm like where the heck did you get my paper from so he told me um no that was not where he told me the story so he told me he's in boya if i want to find out more um i should come and meet him at st clair um restaurant 
he's actually there he doesn't have much time to spend in boya because he's based in it now creepy yeah creepy creepy that was it creepy so what actually um he has to rush back to creepy your girl was curious i mean at this point a lot of things were going through my mind like how on earth is that possible so i was already on the road i mean my house is not far from st Clair. So I actually just crossed the road and went and met him. So I went there, he said I should drink. I said, no, I'm, I'm not interested. I just want to know how you got my CV on your desk because I've not applied for any job. So I don't want to drink. Give me water. I'm okay. Then this man started telling me how he works in a shipping company. Presently, the ship is at Kribi. They will soon take off in like a week's time or two weeks time or so. And there are not many anglophones in the ship. There are like three of them. And when he saw my CV on his deck, he was actually really moved that my CV, I'm an anglophone, I know of their shipping company. They had to take off in two weeks' time to go to Philadelphia. A lot of story. At the end of it all, this man still did not tell me how he got my CV and how I studied law. And I was still surprised. I was like, I want to know how did you get my CV and how I studied law. That was an assignment. Then he told me, do I know any Ekane? I'm like, no, I don't know Ekane. And he said, he's a magistrate in Boya. Then my head kicked. When I did internship um, in court, because I did it at the administrative court, so um, our boss sent us one day, I am a friend, to go to um, one magistrate's office, Ekane, for him to take us to court, criminal court. Was it criminal? Call of first instance. One of them, I've forgotten. For him to take us to court, basically. So, that is how we went there. The man didn't even ask our name. I mean, he just saw, to, saw us and said, Are we the girls, Donald Sen, who said yes? He said, Okay, carry my bags. The normal thing internship students do. Carry bags, carry books. Went to court, sat in court. John notes. After that, went and met him, spoke, gave us small lectures, and we left and went back to our place. So, he doesn't even know our names. So, I'm like, This academy you're talking about, I met him just once. He doesn't even know my name. He didn't even ask for my name. And how can he be the one who actually put my CV on your deck? I mean, how did he even get hold of my CV and why I studied law? And guys, that's the first CV I've ever done in my life. Like, I don't even have any CV. It's God's plan um, for me to have a job after I graduate, blah, 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 blah. I mean, and it was good salary. It was chucking. <laughs> But Elomo being where I am, I was just like, what is this man saying? Can you just get straight to the point? Like, how did you get the CV? He took he took out his phone and started reading why I studied law. I started telling me that that's what made him to fall in love with the CV. My reason why I studied law, how I grew up, that kind of... Because I wrote how I grew up, I wanted to defend the less privileged, all that stuff. <laughs> Fever asked me why I even studied the law because I'll not tell you now. I said all oh, that good stuff and told me I should I'll, I'll work with their company. He's assuring me a job that because at that time that was second semester, what graduation had not even occurred. So it was like I have just two months left in school. I should concentrate and graduate immediately. I graduate. I'll start working with their company. I'll be earning a salary of like three hundred and something thousand. And after two years of working with their company, the company is actually going to send me on a scholarship to UK to study um, business law and. When I come back, I'm going to work with their business lawyers and associate with him. And my, uh, my salary is going to triple or quadruple, whatever he said. And I'm like, baby girl has not had, I've never thought of studying business law. I mean, I don't even like business law. All that Ohada stuff, mm -mm. your yeah, girl, it's not for you. So I was like, I don't even like studying business law to begin with. So how do you want to send me to study something that I don't even like studying? In? I mean, he made it look so like life is so perfect. After graduation, you know, you have a job. What every girl, every human being will be searching for to have a job after graduation with a good pay. And after that, you go further for your education. You still come back assuring you a job in the company. At the end of it all, he still didn't tell me and just told me that I should go and think about it, whatever, 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 whatever. Ah, ah. At that point, a baby girl was surprised. My clique who will always move in school, who will almost who will always submit our assignments like together. I was like, maybe if they are taking my own paper, they are taking this other girl's paper. And I also called them. I took up my phone. I called my G, Sandra. Shout out to you, Sandra. I called her and I was like, Bo, 
Has any number called you telling you about company? She was like, no. So why only me? I asked the other people and nobody, everybody's like, no, nobody has called me. I'm like, so why me? Why? What's special about me? Mm. He had told me before that the ship was going to take off on a particular day. And on that day, he called me and told me that the ship did not finally take off because they had not finished packing the cargo into the ship. And I was like, what kind of story is that? Before they say a ship is supposed to take off on this day, they are supposed to ensure that the cargo is packed before that day. I mean, a ship is like a plane. You can't just cancel the trip like that because they are not finished. What kind of wrong car? At that moment, baby girl's head started thinking. I started thinking of like, this could be a lie. But my major problem was how did he get my CV and how I studied law. I knew the whole thing of shipping something was actually a lie but the ship actually existed because i researched it on google and google actually showed me and showed me its present location that it was at creepy smart man smart lie i showed me its present location at creepy so i knew the ship actually existed but when he told me the ship didn't leave again i didn't even bother to go online to check if the ship left or not i was like that story doesn't even make sense i'm not even buying that story i just want to know how you got those things my stuff so that's how he, he now called. He told me that we'll talk one day. He now called me one night about to seven. Yeah, to seven. I was undoing my hair and I was um, baking what I normally do. So that's how he now called me and told me that he was at one um, soya place opposite Total and I should come and meet him there. I'm like, at this time, I'm in the saloon, I'm doing my hair, he was like, if I don't see him today, I'm not going to see him again, um, he's going to go, the ship is going to go, whatsoever, whatsoever, and he'll be out of network. So, I hurriedly locked my door, I even forgot, I had a kick on the fire, I forgot. I met him, he was drinking with one other guy and a girl, he said it's his junior brother and his junior brother's girlfriend, that his junior brother is coming from Belgium or whatsoever, whatsoever story he said there. And the way the junior brother was acting, you know when something is fishy? He was just laughing. He then he, he kept on mentioning the fact about coming back from Belgium. Then he was talking to the girl, laughing and falling on the girl's body. The girl was just giving one kind of look. I was like, something is not right here. Immediately, I just knew for no reason. I don't know. My spirit just told me that baby girl, this boy is not from no Belgium, not at all. So that's how I was just looking at him. I'm like, why is this one even for me? He would laugh and say, when I was in Belgium now, eh, I saw this person now, eh, and when I was in Belgium now, I was using, I was using this car now, eh, and when I was in, I'm like, if you're from Belgium, why do you need to keep on saying it? Like, you have met a garden of people. Say something else. And bushfellers don't even need to say they're bushfellers. I mean, you see them and you know they're bushfellers. They always have this soft look, not too dressed, with their shorts, their um, tricot, not too dressed, but you know they are bushfellers. This one, mm mm. It was looking like a Moliko Yahoo Yahoo boy. Yes, I just knew that that story was a lie. So I just sat there and I was like, please tell me what you have to tell me. This is already past seven. I have to go to the house. I have a lot of things I'm doing. I have to go to the saloon. The saloon girl has to close because she's waiting for me to finish all my hair before she closes and goes home. He was like, okay, he's going to talk. And as we were sitting there, <laughs> where everything happened, guys. Oh my god, a lot more. You're so fat. And a woman walks in, <laughs> frowning her face, really frowning her face. And I look at this woman, I'm like, why is this woman even frowning? She just pulls a chair and she sits. I greeted her, a good guy, um, good evening. She did not even answer me, and I'm like, in my heart, I'm like, um, what's this? Why, why is this one frowning? Why is she not answering me? Then she sat and was tapping her legs. You know when an angry woman is sitting and tapping her legs? She was sitting and tap, was tapping her legs. I'm like, what's happening here? Then all of a sudden, the place got quiet. The brother who was laughing and talking Belgium stories had nothing to say. The man who was telling me about whatever the job had nothing to say. Then, guys, the Coco, he introduced me to this woman as his brother's friend. What's happening? I mean... <laughs> Am I your brother's friend? Immediately he did that. I just reasoned that something was not right here. Something was not happening. So I was like, okay, I'm going. I told him, okay, I'm going. See you some other time. Then he told his junior brother to go and see me off. Then the woman started filming up. I was saying, she was talking to the junior brother. He said, yes, now I've seen this to you. Now you do know. I've been no sitter. We can't take it for us. And we're not going to go. 
What she say? When I'm not the God knows that place where it doesn't like go. I've been nursing a woman when I can't see. Now see the can't carry for all time they see woman no blah blah blah. And I'm just like, hello, oh, this cannot be happening to you. It cannot even be happening to you. Like my reputation, I worked so hard. It cannot even just happen to you. I didn't even want to hear that kind of drama that she was saying there. Immediately I left the place. I left. So I was standing there waiting for my taxi journey to take and reach my house. That's how that woman came shouting. Oh my god. When I think of the experience now, I'm like, God. Shouting. She was like, Yes, that's how people go around sleep with people's husbands. She was like, Eh, she's going to disgrace me in this Moriko. She has come with her husband. I'm the escape god. She's going to disgrace me. If I know what's good for me, I should leave her husband alone. The man is married. He's married with three children. Is it three or four? One of them. He's married with children at home. She's his wife. They've been married for blah 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 no number of years. And the man is deceiving me. Whatever, whatever. She leave her and she was I'm like, no, 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 no. In my head it was like a flash. Like this thing happened to you. Hello. No, 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 no. no. I could not even believe it. I was just shocked. I was just standing there like Luckily when when this man first told me about the whole job stuff when we first met. I told my mom about it. Thank you, Jehovah. I told my mom about it. My mother was like, I should be very careful that maybe it's a scammer. That's how they walk around scamming people. I should be very careful. She does not think that is real, but I should do my findings. I should just be very careful. You know, motherly advice. So thank God I told my mother about it. So if any, at that point, I was like, if anything should happen, I have to back up that. Mommy, I told you about this man. There is nothing going on between me and him. It's just about the job. And as she was shouting, I was just like, <gasps> I just turned and break my taxi. That's when the man, whosoever, I feel forgotten his name, was coming. I was like, Carol, um, don't be afraid. Eh, go home. I'm going to. We're going to talk on phone. Go home. That's how this woman is. She's so dramatic. At that point, I didn't even want to hear what he was saying. I mean, I just opened my taxi and left that place that's how it went my heart was pounding like i never thought that kind of experience could happen to me like i've never even had something to do with somebody's husband i'm like and that's how i reached the house too i called my sister her dream she was like where have you been i've been struggling to call you because i did not take my phone i was like cake has been burned you know the whole city is smelling of burnt cake like my kitchen was almost exploding <laughs> and that's when it occurred to me that oh my god i actually left cake on the fire i was like you know what Hedrin, just let me be give me water to drink because what i'm from experiencing i'm not sure you even want to even imagine that was her i just her and we all laughed and clapped our hands like this life till today i'm talking this story to you guys i still don't know how that man got hold of my cv and how i studied law paper i don't know the magic that happened how thank god for god i mean i left that place in one piece so guys that has come out walk around deceiving people if you have ever experienced this kind of funny scenario that you don't even understand how things happen and it's still a mystery to you whenever you sit back and imagine it please let me know down in the comment section thank you so much for watching and staying to the end of this video i'm truly grateful you did thumbs up if you stay to the end of this video you're the real mvp if those who stay to the end of the video would actually understand Thank you so much. See you next week Sunday on Fedini. Bye guys.